number 12, Nick Leonard. Forward, number 14, Brandon McGill. And at guard, number 5, Chase Pater. We welcome you back to the Augusta Civic Center as Munson Media brings you the men's game here. The double header between the Owls of the University of Maine, Presque Isle. They'll be in the visiting white, moving right to left on your screen. I mean, they'll be in their dark uniforms. The Maine Moose from the University of Maine, Augusta, will be moving left to right on your screen. This should be a good matchup, Nate. Uh, these teams went after each other. Very tightly contested game up at Presque Isle earlier in the season. Uh, a game that the Moose led to very late on. And tough call at the end. And the Owls went on for the win. So we're expecting a very competitive game here tonight here in our men's game. You see the Moose being introduced. Down below us. Brittany brings you the pictures. Rob Munzing, Nate Munzing here for the analysis. And play-by-play -play of this one. For your moose, Keith Chesley, Brandon and Rogers. Among the starters. Malaga is also going to start here tonight. Taylor Wilbur. And Garrett Alley. Starters. And we're set to get underway here. Glad you're joining us. Moose control. First possession. Rogers got cut off. They'll swing it all the way around. Here comes the entry pass inside. Alley got it back out. Rogers head and shoulder fake. He'll take the baseline pop. Irons it up. Won't go. Rebound was Harris. They'll set it up. 2-3 zone here by the men. Moose. Now one of the most important parts of the, any zone kind of defense is going to be communication because you've got to be able to one cover spot but know where the cutter is going to be to be able to make that adjustment to come down, rotate over uh, and help and assist. Nine on the shot clock here. First possession here for the Owls. Jim Ford, the Humane Augusta Moose coach. Mike Holmes at the helm for the Owls. Chase for care. Gets it inside off the elbow. Uncontested pop. That didn't get down for Maurice Harris. Wilbur. They'll get it back outside. Alaga, Rogers, Chesley goes on the cut. Double team, Rogers. Oof. We've seen Rogers swoop a lot of times off that move. They doubled him up immediately. Of course, these teams familiar with each other, so won't be a lot of surprises here. First hoop of the game. Chase the car. The car. Wilbur dishes inside the alley, goes up, and gets fouled. So Garrett will go, be going to the free throw line. Good pass there by Wilbur to go ahead and set alley up. Too bad it, it just he wasn't able to kind of collect that in a smooth manner to be able to go right up with it uh, and put the layup in. But Garrett will get the free throws. Get the first one. Ironed up to one. But got holes. Gets it back around. Linhardt now left side. Collins got it all the way across. And good defense that time by the Moose. Yeah, anytime you can get the the opposition to go ahead and pass the ball around the perimeter and not, not even attempt to get the shot off. I mean, it's a good defensive, uh, defensive possession on your side. Rogers will get on him. Rogers in the post now. 
going to swoop, make room for himself, and lay it home, and that's almost indefensible. Yeah, and that's a great play there because there's a, there's a lot of clumping going on right now in the paint. So for him to be able to go ahead and split those two defenders and get a shot up was a, a miracle in itself, and then obviously being able to put it home was even better. Yeah, you don't want to go away from inside. And I, I, I like the, you know, it, it's kind of a, that was a swoop and a half. It's kind of a a, a double. You, you you, you will go at it twice, Nate. You go inside first, and then the defense comes, and then they don't expect it to come right back in again. Sometimes that's the way to do it. it was the long-winded point I was trying to make. Yeah, good shot there by Keith, though. You know, go in, go in, gets cut off, out, back in immediately. You know, the defense sometimes won't, will relax a little bit as it goes back outside. Don't expect a quick re-entry pass inside. 3-2 moves. You can tell Umpy here trying to set up their their zone breaker here, and that that's that's a little bit better. Anytime you can work a triangle against a zone, you're going to be successful. Brandon McGill, and they move the ball smartly. Good take and good rejection. Yeah, even better rejection. Yeah, wow, for sure. Second chance opportunity here for the Owls. Tough off balance hit that time by Chase Vakar. Yeah, Vakar's definitely the shooter. Got to find him on the court. Got to get a hand in his face and try and get him off balance. Well, he was off balance. Yeah. <laughs> but he still put it home. Roger swoops. Oh, he tucked it inside to Garrett Alley. A little bit too... A little too fancy. Down. Yeah. A little too fancy. I mean, anytime... I don't know. Not a lot of people can collect the ball at their feet and be able to go right up with it. So, I mean, that's got to hit... Get, get up to about his waist in order for him to do anything even from that position there. Contested that rebound. Did Garrett as he also. Got a little piece of McGill. Well, they call the back door, but not soon enough. And Coach Ford says we've got to make sure we correct that. So he's going to take the time. I will take the time out back after this. Our goal here at Maine Athletic Fundraising is to raise your program or group the most amount of money possible in the shortest amount of time, hassle-free. Over the last three years, we've been able to raise over $10,000 every year, which has really allowed us to get the extra stuff the kids really need to run a successful program. One of our biggest goals at Maine Athletic Fundraising is to really develop a relationship on the ground um, with the coaches, the community, and the boosters that are involved and help bring them together and, and understand uh, how important it is to fundraise. Back after the timeout, Coach Floyd took the timeout as the Owls have extended 8-3. to three. They got it to Rogers, Oof. and Rogers went up and down. Well, that was a nice, nice pass by Garrett Alley, and a better reception by Brandon Rogers. Yeah, really nice there. On the baseline, good look underneath, and a little shuffle of the feet by Brandon McGill. But boy, that was a good look. See that Rogers play. We'll cue that up. We'll show it to you on the next break we get. Chesley. Keith looking to get in. And he does. Good take by Keith. Tough take by Keith that time as he came down the rumble strip. So good time out by Coach Ford. Little run here for the Moose. They went into the timeout, 8 3, 8 7 now. Here's your three point shooter. Knocked away. That was Wilbur. You want him taking that shot. He's a shooter. Ball didn't get down the floor from Maurice Harris. We'll show you that. Uh, We'll show that Rogers play here. Boy. 
He's just got nice, soft hands. I think I said this before. He'd be uh, like a fantastic, uh, you know, wide receiver, yeah, wouldn't he, Nate? Yeah. Listen, yeah. Munzing's always come after things on the basketball end, you know. Three didn't go. Eight seven. Owls. And we got a 30 second timeout. Well, we got the 30 second timeout. We'll take the timeout. We'll come back here after this. A lot of people who go to UMA are people like myself who are going back to school later in life. We have jobs, kids, mortgages, bills. UMA provides an environment for people like me to thrive. I was able to apply what I learned at UMA like immediately. My boss took notice of what I was doing at UMA and uh, gave me more opportunities. You start achieving and uh, it feels it feels good. The staff at UMA, their involvement with you doesn't stop when they hand you a diploma. They're still there providing guidance and mentorship, and that's really, really special. 14.03 left here. You see the clock here from Augusta Civic Center. Busy week for us here as this is the second of the game. The women won the first game going away. They cruised in that game, actually. Yeah, they basically had that in hand. They just really executed well, both defensively and offensively. A little bumping going on on the take by Kevin Collins as he went down the left side. Yeah, I'll be having some success here. We're on their triangle, kicking the ball down to the high post and having some cutters on the backside and being able to kind of get in between this 2-3 zone here of uh, UMA. Caleb McGuire getting set to check in. First one's good. Stay with us at halftime. We have a couple of the women come up and talk to us. We always like talking to the the players, find out what their how their semester's going and acclimation to the basketball program and really always both team, both of these teams and I think all basketball teams are with each other so much. Yeah. You're traveling so much. I mean, you, I mean if if you don't get along, boy, it's a long winter. Oh, man. oh boy. <laughs> save that one. <laughs> We're going to save that one. <laughs> We'll, we'll let the scoreboard ride from it. We, we want to save that one. We want to show you that one again. Skipped out ahead now to Keith. Wilbur, they'll come right down on him. They know he's a three-point shooter, but Taylor goes. Dishes back over to Chez. Put up a little runner there. Didn't get it down. Quentin Harris with the rebound. Collins back left outside. Collins. Nice dish, but a little offense by accident that time. Good pound underneath here by the Owls, and Rogers comes down with the rebound finally. An unfortunate off his foot by Malagna. Swoop to the basket. Good help defense. He'll tangle on the floor, and it's going to stay with the Let's just take a look at that last Rogers play, Nate. You're going to see him at the top of the key here. Just quick dribble, hop step, and oof. <laughs> yeah, defense. The jump step, which, you know, is always an underrated move. I don't think enough people do it, but. You know, no use doing a jump step if you can't elevate off that jump. You know, a lot of guys got to, you know, they can't elevate off the jump step, uh, you know, jump stop and, and go straight up. But Brandon's, uh, you know, he's got the extra springy uh, springs in there. Nine, nine. Entertaining. Caleb McGuire had a nice defensive stop right in there. Nice play there by Caleb. Back-to-back -back good plays by Caleb. And okay, we all would see if Caleb scored a three or something like that, but those little things, those are things the coaches.